how to create a tech gadgets and accessories e-commerce website on Weebly. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform. So let's get started by clicking on the sign up button to create a new account. And if you already have an account, just go with login and proceed to type in your email or your username. And after typing your email, you click on next to proceed to type in your password so just give it a few seconds to load then you will be able to type in your password so here after typing your password you click on login after logging in the first step of creating your store is choosing a name for the store so it doesn't matter what name you give it now you can always change the name later so after choosing the name click on continue then you have a question and you have three answers you choose the answer that fits you then you do the same with this other question and then you proceed to choosing the category of the items that you will be selling so my store is in the niche of tech gadgets and accessories so i'm going to choose tech products and if you can't find your category in this list just go with other then click on continue after that if you already have a store in the real world you type in the address of that store if not just skip this step and you proceed to building your store then you will proceed to your dashboard as you can see this is your dashboard and here in your right you have the edit site button which take us to the editing phase and also we have the design now button which does the same job as the edit side button and in your left you have nine sections and I'm going to go through each one of these sections and explain it for you starting with website where we have the edit side button again and, and then we have the domains button where you can create or set your domain name or change the one that you already have and then we have the items section where you can create and then we found we find inside it the site items where you can create new products or change the ones that you already have then we have the site categories if you want to create categories for those products or change or just create categories then we have options coupons gift cards customer reviews and item preferences and that's it for this section then we have the orders section where you can check all of your orders see the fulfilled one the shipped one and the cancelled one and so on then we have the fulfillment section where you can set your pickup settings or your shipping settings then we have the report section where you can find the site's traffic reports site activity reports sources reports online sales reports site items reports and so on and if you want to see the summary of all these reports just to go with summary then we have the marketing section where you can find where you can find every tool that is related to growing your audience starting with email to automated to ads to mailing lists to segments and setup and if you want to see again the summary of all these tools just click on summary and then we have the communications section where we have the email and text alerts, pop-ups, messenger and abundant cards. And then last but not least we have the settings section where we have the general settings where you can change your company name or your phone number, your email, your address. So you can do all of that in settings and especially in going to general settings. So just give it a few seconds to load and it's here you can change your company name your address your email and your phone number then we have the checkout where you can set your payment processors like connecting your stripe account or connecting your paypal account then we have the sales taxes if you want to set your tax settings then we have the units if you want to change the site's language or if you want to edit the units that you have and that's it for these sections guys let's go back to the overview and then let's proceed to the editing phase by clicking on the edit side button 
like this click on edit site and you will need to give it from 15 seconds to 30 seconds to load so just be patient with it it will load right now and it's still loading as you can see and this is the dashboard as you can see here we have the setup guide if you want to go with it if not to just ignore it it will disappear right now and they will show up the site styles as you can see so basically what we do is we choose one of these styles to be the style of our template and then we proceed to the site's design so let's just wait first to the template to be fully loaded and then we will choose one of these styles and see if it fits our requirements so this is the store or the template so I'm going to choose this style and I'm going to click on hide styles to see if it fits my store so this one fits my store really good so I'm going to click on apply site styles then we proceed to the site's design if you want to change the site style you can do it in here if not if you want to add an image to be your logo you can do it in this button as you can see if you want to change colors and if you want to change fonts which I want to change I want to choose Comforta which is this one and then click on done also if you want to change the shape of the buttons from sharp to rounded then click on done and if you want to change the site's elements you will need to upgrade your plan from the free version to the paid one and when you're done you click on done and if you want to search for a domain name you type in the domain name in here if not just close this one and dismiss all dismiss again and here you have the plus button if you want to add a new section page item or category and here you have the pages the sections and all of the things that you have in your template if you want to adjust one of them hide it or show it as you can see change the placement of it or if you'd like to delete it so that's it guys for today's video i just wanted to give you an idea about how this platform works i hope i achieved that don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends